Good morning, everybody. All right, it's a bit loud in here today, so I'm going to have to talk up. Uh, early 2000s Mitsubishi Pajero. Now, this vehicle has a Code 53, which is ignition coil circuit cylinder uh, number three. So this number three coil here. Now, first check at this, obviously hooked up to battery positive, so when we touch the ground, test light will light up. Have we got coil control? No, we have nothing. We should have a flashing control light. So this test light should be flickering. Now how this circuit works, we'll go back and this car come in actually from one of our, our videos on an injector driver issue. Um, customer thought that it may need a new ECU with an injector driver. This is our diagram, right? So we've got our coil number three, we've got a shared feed on this wire that's spliced in, the LB. So that's a shared 12 volt feed to ignition switch and then the brown wire end comes down, goes to our power transistor which is an ignition module. There's a transistor in that ignition module, so it goes to one side of that transistor, the other side has ground and is controlled by another transistor in the ECU. So simple, simple ish circuit design right all we need to confirm we know we've got no output to this coil here we've checked it at this ignition module down here all we need to confirm now is that our ECU transistor is grounding that wire so if we hook up our low amp test light to that as you can see that is flickering I'll get actually a slightly lower amp test light to do that again all right, so this is a 126 milliamp test light. Um, it is important to know what your test light draws because if I was to put a bigger test light on this circuit, we will end up killing that transistor in that ECU. So these are both quite low current test lights. This one's just a bit easier to see. So if I hook that up to there, as you can see, that's flickering on and off, on and off. So that ECU has good control of the transistor in the coil module. The transistor in the coil module does not have any control of this ignition coil. So this vehicle is going to require a new ignition coil module, which is this unit up the back here. Um, as far as everything else, there's nothing else we need to check because everything else in this unit is um, fine. Everything else operating fine. So other two coils are operating fine. We know the driver that's going to be in that module and those two transistors are grounding those coils out. Um, we know our ECU has control here and we know that our shared ground on here is all good. So as you can see that ground splices in and that ECU controls it. So this vehicle needs a new ignition coil module and that's it. That, that's 100%. Wiring integrity is good. Coil itself is good. Needs a new coil module. All right, so follow up on our Pajero. We've got our new ignition module just sitting there. The old one's still in there because we've got to wiggle it out. But as you can see, test light hooked up to battery positive. When it finds the ground, it will light up. Um, this is our control wire. So that's that brown wire from the module. And we do have good control now. There we go. So that is all fixed. That ignition module, the new one, is controlling it. And for anyone's interest, um, AFI, so AFI parts, is actually a genuine Mitsubishi part. So this AFI module comes in a genuine Mitsubishi box and it's stamped with all the Mitsubishi logos. So they obviously just resupply them. So this car's all fixed, running good, we'll clear the codes.